box, and we're underway. Two hours late, but underway nonetheless. And the 0 1 pitch. And that one is into right field. Diaz does it two days in a row, so the Sycamores are in business right away here in the first inning. Great changeup by Stoutenborough. Puts a charge into it. And right at the right fielder, Austin Davis. And have success as a freshman. Now uh, that's going to be an infield fly. Well, you don't come in a little bit and try. Ground ball, deep short. Into left field. Boyers is going to come up throwing. It's cut off, and Indiana State takes its first lead of the Super Regional. 2-2 Two -two to Rivera. Breaking ball, looping liner left field. Boyers isn't going to get there. Another one is going to score as Pottinger comes in, and it's 2-0 Sycamore. Attention that, you know, the guys that are dinged up, hamstrings. Popped up left side, should end the inning. Connor Fenlong, the Sycamore's ace, is going to go to the mound. That includes 34 walks. He'll put this one in play. Candy hot for the shortstop, Diaz. And Nunez is retired. There's freshman Carson Bowen. Little number out in front of home plate. Kind of stumbles coming out of the box. But Gill, who has a cannon for an arm. Long going to go to that spot. Ground ball to first. Backing off is Rivera. Has a hard time with it. And Taylor is safe. This weekend. Hit hard. Nice play by Erdinetta. And he'll gun down Fontenelle. Good looking center fielder, and he's going to dump this one into left field. Apparently, it was good enough. Grant McGill, slow roller. They won't get two. Richardson will throw to first. Diaz wants to do right now. Oh, they got him looking a little bit silly out on that front foot. Here. Line drive to center. And right there is Nunez to make the catch. Kirk Sarlos made dang sure they ate an eye up this week, too. They go to linebacker, but you go chest freezer. <laughs> Swung on and missed back to back K's for Fenlon. Four for 14 regional. Skies this one to right. And that is going to be a tidy inning. Do that today. He goes, no, I cannot use it. No, times have changed for sure. Pottinger pops it up. And right next to the bag, Silva puts it away. He lost twice. And then lost another one to Indiana, so three in a row, but they haven't done that since. Just off the plate. Ah, that hit him on the knee. He's going to put it in play. Should be two. Diaz, Erdinetta, and Rivera. D1 and whip, 1.23. Big punch out right there. And TCU fans have stepped up. Popped up. Right fielder Nunez is going to give way here to Dave. Off the board by Stoutenborough since to Taylor at third. That's a fair ball. Throwing on the run across his body. Into the shift. And there was Silva. And he can throw two on the run. Oh, it looked like uh, ground ball right there. It looked like a little bit of an in-game adjustment. Again, the 3-2 pitch. Inside, walked him. And that one is lined to center, and it's going to get down for a base hit for Cole Fontenelle. John Delora is going to put the brakes on Taylor at third. That's a double for Fontenelle, his third extra base hit of the weekend. Chopper, deep short. They won't have a play. Taylor scores, infield hit and RBI for Richardson. And the Frogs are on the board, it's two to one. Chop left side, it's going to be a tough play again. Barehanded, high throw. Everybody safe, the throw back to second, and Richardson's in. And we're tied at two. Line drive base hit. Richardson being waved around. And into third base is Burr. Silva puts TCU in front. Here stands in. Back up the middle. And that's going to find its way into center field. Burns scores. Silva to third. Throw gets away. And Silva will go back to the base. Luke Boyers. 
His first hit of the national tournament. Anomaly for Finlong this year. Chopper to the left side. A little confusion over there. Another run comes in. And going over to third base is Boyers. So Silva scores to make it 5-2. to two. Ground ball. Scooped by Rivera. He'll flip it to Fenlon to get Indiana State off the field. Wanted to play. Here's a ground ball for McGill. Backhanded nicely by Fontenelle. Boy, well, the state team took a gut punch last inning, but don't count him out. That's a line drive base hit. Second of the game for Diaz. He continues to swing it well. 3-2 pitch. Fly ball left field. Boyer started in, but then goes back to make the catch. Away center field yesterday against Klecker. Wraps it in the ground to Taylor. He'll take the short one, and TCU is out of the fifth. On 3-2 pitch. Got him. Not even available tonight. Called strike three. Taylor doesn't like it. The same guy for the, that he was the first three innings. Oh, my. Get hard. With a vapor trail behind that ball that leaves the stadium at mock speed. And it's six to two. That was 110 off the bat. That ball might have hurt somebody out in right field. Talk about a laser beam off the bat of Fontenelle. He has picked up Taylor in a big way. He has gotten scorching hot. 3-1 pitch, middle of the plate. Hammered. And Richardson pops out to center where Gurgley is patrolling. Goodness, Cole Fontenelle through this muggy, humid air just rips a hole in the atmosphere. Watch this thing leave the bath. Fontenelle just getting it done so far in these supers. Second home run, third RBI. Oh, yeah. Exactly what you want to see if you're sitting in the TCU dugout. There's a punch out up out of the zone of Pottinger. Nine. Oh, that hit him. Rivera line drive toward the gap. And that's going to get down. And it's going to run all the way to the wall. They're going to wave. Watson. He's going to try to score. The throw is late. And Indiana State cuts that TCU lead in half. It's now 6-3. Pitch from Abel. Little comebacker. Abel can't get to it. Richardson, he won't either. Big break, Mike Sears. Single. Way outside for Abel, and he walked him. And McGill, the catcher, puts it in play. Fontenelle's going to go to the bank for one. That's all they're going to get. Let it fly. See you. A tough play for Diaz. And I tell you what, Randall Diaz has about as strong of an arm as anybody in the Super Regionals. Now Silva with a chopper back over the mound. Murdenetta was shaded toward the bag, so he had that play perfectly. Just missed off the plate. Boyers on for the third time, and TCU has a two-out base runner. Advanced. Runner goes. Davis swings, pops it up. Tough play for Rivera, but he hangs in there, makes the catch and foul ground. And this is a weak pop up in foul ground. First baseman Fontenelle is over there. And done with that pitch. And he comes with a fastball here, pops it up into right field. Coming over toward the line is Davis. And he'll make the catch. So well attended by players, people in Omaha. Pottinger with a two-out base knock. It's going to get to the wall in right field. Davis throws it in. And Pottinger is in sliding with a double at that time. There's a throw down to second. It's going to be close. And they got him. Grant McGill is a great catcher for Indiana State, but don't sleep on Carson Bowen either. This is just a great way to get out of a jam. Bowen sees an extended secondary lead by Pottinger. Throws a strike. Trey Richardson looks in. Yeah, man. 
Called strike three. Off the board for Indiana State. That is a fair ball. And that is a nice play by Mike Sear. Walked him. Breaking ball. That's going to be a tough play. Charging his Sears. And he's going to have to eat it. Strikes tonight, not so much. In on the hands, another tough play. Low throw. What a pick at first base by Rivera. The interstate down two. They need to force a game three tomorrow to keep their season alive. And that's a good start. Three hit game for Miguel Rivera. The Moors do that here. On two runs. Could be two. Richardson the second for one to first. Double play. Can't afford many more runs. Called strike three. Her ball and a changeup. Had no room for error as he inherited a three ball count and he loses Silva for Indiana State. He could even though he was chasing runs. Line drive to center. Hit hard but Girdley will come over into the power alley and make the catch for the second out. Struck him out. McGill's going to have to throw down to first. He bobbled it. Throw is high. But keeping his foot on the bag is Rivera. Breaking ball to center. And that's going to be a base hit. Indiana State has the leadoff man on in the ninth. Randall Diaz has two hits tonight. Also two strikeouts. Breaking ball to center. It's going to be a tough play. But Nunez gets there for the first out. Erdemena. Richardson. Two down. Keto now in scoring position. But Indiana State down to its last out. And Luis Hernandez coming up. And he's 0 for 4. Another defensive play. First pitch fastball down in the zone. Richardson ranging way to his left. Huge second out. We're going to have a conversation for a split second. Garrett Wright came in. Hernandez has five home runs on the year. And he almost had his sixth yesterday. And he would be looking for that today. Put one off the center field wall in game one. First pitch from right, swung on and missed. As Hernandez was trying to tie this ball game up at six. Knowing that, knowing that everybody in this situation wants to be a hero, Garrett Wright goes with the first pitch slider at 90. Could be the ball game. TCU is headed back to Omaha. Sixth time in program history and the first under Kirk Sarlos, the Frogs are headed to the College World Series. And what a difference from the first half of the season to the second half of the season for TCU. This was a team that in late April was on the outside looking in, Greg, of the national tournament picture. They got red hot starting on May 1st, and they haven't cooled off yet. No, they have not. Scorching hot. This team is going to be a team to be watched in Omaha. 23 and 20, the midway point. They win 20 out of the last 22 games, counting tonight. Unbelievable run. Pitching, defense, and an unbelievable offense. This past calendar year. Yeah. A lot to be proud of. Yes, they do. Uh, TCU's got a chance to 
play for the national title in Omaha. Their best finish was third.